Hey everyone, another behind the wheel. Um, I bought, oh no, I bought x -Death. it's good. So this is just a haul, but it's sort of a vlog. Sometimes I like these hauls better because I can talk about the series or talk about something, not worry about spoiling because I haven't read them yet. Um, so that that's, that's cool for me in that context. So um, here's me talking about the books that I bought. So I bought three covers of 10 Deaths of Wolverine. I don't know why. You know, I'm trying to save space and I keep doing this. I don't even particularly like these covers. Um, I mean, this is just, I mean, this is basically me just admitting that I'm addicted and I need help. Please send help. Please send help. My brother always tells me it's better to be addicted to this than to gambling. Uh, I got super massive, so I've not read uh, Radiant Black. Uh, I, I did buy the, no, maybe I didn't yet. Uh, I plan to buy the the trade. Uh, but I figured, hey, maybe I'll just choose one of these in singles. Suppose I can read them separately, and I probably will. Actually, this is, I think it's just a one-shot, so so good on me. Oh, Radio Apocalypse. This is, uh, I've been waiting a long time. We were comparing this to uh, what's the furthest place from here, and uh, they both came out like a week after each other, one and one, and now what's the furthest place from here? Is that number four? And this one just barely came out, and Vault has been doing a... You know, Vault has been late a lot. Uh, so I would recommend trade waiting Vault. Um, I've been waiting for a lot of, so this is the other one, I might, I might as well just jump to it. So Dark Interlude, this is at number three, and number one came out like a year ago or something. And it's also Vault, it's also part of the, uh, you know, the white noise crew that I enjoy a lot. And um, I've been waiting a long time. Now I gotta go dig up Dark Interlude one and two, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Um, but Vault's great as far as quality and writers and artists that they get and, you know, story arcs worth every penny, but you, you might, you should maybe start thinking about going the trade route with them, um, and just waiting for it. The other one that's come out and it's also a white noise book. And I know, well, maybe not with Ryan O'Sullivan, but I know cause these people put out books, uh, on other publishers and they come out on time so I know it's not Ryan O'Sullivan and Ron V and Dan Waters there's something else going on so I don't know what that is um but the uh picture of everything else is another book I've been waiting for a long time which just read it in trade I may just buy the singles and then still buy the goddamn trade uh just so I don't have to go dig up and reread the singles uh, that's what they're trying to do they're fucking geniuses they're geniuses over at Vault. Uh, Purgatory number five. Uh, this is this has been pretty good, I guess. I mean, I say the same thing. I keep buying the Purgatory Lady Death, Evil Ernie kind of stuff, um, but the art is just not nowhere near what it was in in the '90s. And it's not this artist's fault. It's fine. Whoever did this art or whatever. <clears throat> but it's like you just don't take that much time to draw all the crazy shit like you used to. Um, you know, even 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 if you when you make fun of the image guys and the brigades and the rip claws and whatnot, um, you know they they took a long time to draw them. <laughs> you know, so they they spent a long time at it. Uh, Ghost Rider number one. So I bought the regular cover here. I made a I did a tweet saying that uh, you know I bought three covers on G Martin and, and but I want to read Ghost Rider one, so I'm gonna waste money. But I guess my plan was always to buy the A cover. Um, and then the three covers I bought was a Momoko cover, which I don't really like now that I've seen it, but I bought it, you know, when it was pre-ordered. And then I, I've been buying blank sketch covers, and I mostly, I think it was Bubs Comics, so shout out to Bubs, that he, um, he said, you know, he has these sketch covers, he'll go to a convention, he'll just give it, if it, if it matches the artist in some way, he'll just give it to the artist, tell him to draw whatever he wants. And I think that's actually a pretty cool idea. This way I don't have to, like, be annoying and requesty. I can get original art, support the art, you know, support the artist. I thought that was a good idea. So I got a bunch of blank covers coming of comics I don't even really care about. Like, one of them is Draculina. I would never buy, uh, I don't know, what's his name's writing it. So I had a bad experience with one of those Vampirella spinoff titles that I didn't like. So I wouldn't act necessarily never buy Draculina, but I had this bad experience. So I have the cover, the blank cover, right? So I also have the Ghost Rider blank cover. And, and a couple other ones, a couple of the spawn ones and stuff. So I'll have like a couple in my pocket and I could just tell an artist that I want that's cheap that, uh, you know, draw whatever you want on it. Speaking of spawn, there's Gunslinger Spawn. Um, you know, spawn fans, I was watching, let's see, Bueller was on it. 
I don't know what it was. Maybe it was Comics Will Break Your Hearts, um, one of her like seven review shows. She, she seems to say some things different, even though she reviews the same comics three different times on three different channels. Um, but uh, I think it was on that show, and she had Bueller, and she had Travis, shout out to TM Nerdy, too. And, um, and uh, they were reading Spawn, and they saw big differences between the Spawn books. And I enjoy them, too. But I don't see big differences between them, and I think I've said that before. Um, I just feel like I'm paying $2.99 a lot. And then also, because I'm also the person that loves it that it's $2.99, I'm happier to buy multiple covers. But now there's multiple titles with multiple covers, so it gets, that, that gets a little bit tough. Um, Aerosmith, I, I shouldn't have bought this. Uh, you know, I grabbed it because I, I, I turned out to really love number one. This is like the second or third volume or something. So I ordered the oversized hardcover of the first volume. And um, and so I'll read that. And I was gonna trade weight this or even wait for an oversized volume of it. Um, if you, if this sounds good, and I'm not, I know I'm not reviewing it now, I would say to buy, not to go find the singles or the, or the old trade. Because it was through DC, maybe it was, I don't think it was Vertigo book. But, um, you know, they're going to uncensor some stuff. And, I, you know, it's probably very light censorship that they had to do for DC. But on the image version that's the oversized hardcover, they're going to uncensor some stuff. So it's at least the pure, pure version. Uh, so I started Usagi Ujimbo. You know, there's two series going on. One of them is the, the main series, the main new series that's colored. And then another one is, is a bunch of um, older series that are that are now colored. And in both cases, I started at this it, part two of the story. So this is um, Lone Goat and Kid, which is of course a play on uh, Lone Wolf and Cub. But I bought number two, and now I got to go find number one. Then I bought the other Usagi Jimbo, and um, that was a it was number twenty six, but it was part two of the story. So I already ordered twenty five on eBay, and I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Usagi a good twelve months. I just want to see what the there's a couple people out there that really, really, that have just started it within the last year or two and have really, really loved it. So Sleepy Reader, of course, I've mentioned Perry Comics, um, who who's never changed his YouTube name, but he's apparently still Perry Comics. And uh, and they love it, you know, and they're both completely different kinds of readers, by the way, both of them completely different kinds. So I think that is good. That little um, contrast is good enough for me to, to, to give it a, a longer shot than just an issue here or there. Um, and Cy Spurrier, Step by Bloody Step. Now, I just found out, just happening to see on a tweet, that this is silent, uh, which is awesome. I think I accidentally bought the V cover, which is not awesome. But, um, you know, Cy Spurrier, uh, Matt Lopez, I think people are calling him Lopes. I'm going to just go with it. it's Lopez, I'm going to guess, that he just doesn't do it with the normal Z. Um, is the colorist who, who colored... Uh, uh, Bill Cosell Evely's art on Supergirl so he, he's doing this now and uh, actually this art looks great so and uh, Bergara is someone else I like I just can't remember what I like him from um, and then of course Cy Spurrier is great but look so you know these wordless comics you must go much slower because you'll enjoy them much more um, right and then and trust me I know I know how hard it is to read wordless comics I'm definitely uh, the speed reader type. So I have to like go, okay, Chris, you can be the speed reader reader on the Star Wars comic, but slow down for some of these other comics. Oh, speaking of Star Wars, here's the comic I'm going to be a speed reader on number 13. So I actually just read whatever I put on Twitter, like number 10. So I need to read 11 and 12. Um, I think I missed two, two issues of, uh, Star Wars adventures, or I just boxed them or forgot to read them. Because I was not very familiar with what was going on in in what was the last part of issue number of, of an arc of issue number ten, and uh, so this goes back to um, some of the main characters and art, by the way, from um, Tolabau, whose first name I can't remember, but I'll tell you right now, Harvey Tolabau. That is just amazing. I like the art in when Harvey Tolabau is doing it in Star Wars High Republic Adventures uh, more than I like it in the regular title, and I like the regular title. Jeez. So anyway, see what I mean. You know, I'm not, I didn't spoil any of my, it's a haul, but I didn't spoil my books and I was able to talk about them how I wanted. I don't have to worry about spoilers or any shit like that. So it's not, it's a haul, but it's not really a haul, you know? Anyway, uh, at Cast and Comics, Instagram and Twitter. Talk to you guys later. I'm going to drive home.